Yo, what's up everyone? We are back. Do you want your webcam from this this? But before that, don't go anywhere and we'll be back. So, you just bought a webcam and tested it out and figured it out that your video quality is not as good as what I expected. So, in today's video, we are going to show you how you can improve the quality of any most of the webcam out there. And so, you could stream like a pro. By the end of this video, we hope you know how to set it up and improve your webcam video quality even for me i'm actually using logitech c922 webcam up until now which is pretty pretty good pretty pretty affordable webcam out there but without the setting your webcam video quality really does not look good so let's get our setting started so before we going into this quality adjustment i'm gonna show you how you can actually add your webcam first go to the source as you can see this is my display right here so go to the source and look for video capture device under essential sources click for it and just add source so i'm gonna buy webcam testing right here so just click a source or you can actually add a new source instead so just click a source and so this is my webcam right here so this is actually without any other quality adjustment now we're gonna show you how you can actually adjust and make it looks even better make it looks even cooler so let's do it click on this setting on the right side open the source project and just click on it and you'll see configure video but before that resolution type is customs resolutions 1080p fps i'm gonna put in the highest fps so video format mjpeg i tested why you wide for this one but it's kind of laggy so um you can probably give it a try but not really advice color space record 709 which you can have the best quality of the color color range make it full so after this let's go for the configure video and you'll see that's a window just came out right here so first we're gonna go camera con and untick this auto focus and auto exposure when it is thick just untick it so i'm gonna show you what will happen if i make it auto exposure so when i just click it and you'll see it's very very bright so just untick it i'm gonna use negative five right here but still i highly recommend that you set up a lighting put right behind your webcam and face in front of you because a good lighting it actually makes a really really big difference for your webcam video quality so after going to camera control let's go to video and you'll see brightness contrast saturation sharpness white balance and backlight comp and gain so we're gonna go brightness brightness that you can actually adjust your brightness so i'm gonna put it a little bit on not too bright not too bright because we're gonna adjust it after this contrast just a little bit on about somewhere here and saturation i'm not gonna really move this we're gonna do it in the filters afterward but white balance is really important so now it's kind of a 3 3 or 3340 plus you can adjust according to your own preference because not everyone have the same thought of color so sometimes that you think that is blue and the other things that is too blue so adjust accordingly so for me that i'm gonna make it to about 3800 would be fine so that my skin color look pretty good and my shirt actually is pretty blue and it's really look alike look the same that with my eyesight so but according just just set according to your own preference and try not to overset it but you can give it to play a little bit around so backlight con just make it on zero and again that when you set again you're gonna mix about darker on the left darker a little bit on the left and brighter on the right so i'm gonna make it a little bit bright right here all right power line frequency anti flicker make it on 60 after you have set all this click apply and click ok so close the window and go for the filters which is it makes the magic happen let's do it right now so let's right click on it and you'll see this filter edit filters just click on this add filter here and you'll see filter type and you're gonna add color correction right here so just click add and you'll see all the gamma contrast brightness saturation hue shift and your opacity top four is the one that we have to actually play around so let me just adjust this a uh, little bit more to the side all right so you'll see it so first thing is the gamma when you move your gamma you feel a little bit brighter we do not want to be too bright we want to be look like a pretty cool awesome video quality right there so i'm gonna adjust it a little bit a little bit bright not not too much not too much somewhere around here all right the contrast it makes your screen a little bit 
more brighter so i'm gonna shift it to the right side make it a little bit darker on this side that is like focused on you and it looks pretty cool right there and the brightness we're gonna increase it a little bit not too much okay i guess this is the belt i'm not gonna a little bit more a little bit more all right so this is how you adjust your brightness and the most important part is your saturation that is why that i do not want to adjust my white balance too much right there because we're gonna adjust our saturation right here so let's see how adjust a little bit to the right side and you'll see my skin and my shirts and my background color is even more on point it's even more sharp so this is we're gonna adjust a little bit more a little bit more not too much not too much all right a little bit more okay so this is how you can adjust your video quality make it more colorful and also make it looks like a pro if you are enjoying my content so far and do not forget to give this video a bigger thumbs up and of course do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more amazing content after you have done adjust the quality of your video that your all your saturation your color has been improved the next thing we're gonna do is make our background blur which looks even better so we're gonna show you how to do it using streamlabs and using nvidia broadcast let's do it so to get nvidia broadcast first thing you have to install so just surf the google and go for nvidia broadcast and click on it and just download your nvidia broadcast so after you have download your nvidia broadcast and you'll see a window like this so just open up and just go to your camera and choose the camera that you're using after that choose the correct resolutions after that there's a background blur on the effect and background replacement there's so much more that you can actually go through for it but we're gonna focus on background blur for this topic today we're gonna turn it on and you'll see my background is blur already so i do not want my streams or my game to actually be a little bit laggy and stress too much on my pc so i'm gonna go for performance and the strength i'm gonna just adjust a little bit right here so everyone is different so it depends on your own preference and because someone they love that your background to be very blur and maybe some others that they don't want to be so blur but for me i'm gonna use a little bit blur not too much and you also can configure your video using this right here you can see this button right here this configure video we can even adjust the same thing in using streamlabs when we adjust here on the nvidia broadcast you're gonna apply the same to streamlabs so we're gonna go for video i'm gonna adjust back to about 3800 which looks pretty cool right now and we're gonna click apply and click ok and after that we gonna adjust our filters also in our webcam so how do you actually do it i'm gonna show you right now how do you add the source into your streamlabs so we are back to my streamlab obs so how are you gonna add the source from nvidia broadcast to your streamlabs so same you just go to your source and look for video capture device and you can add source which I already added so after you add your source and you'll see something like this which is almost the same that you set up your webcam but this time a little bit different that you have to go for your device and look for camera and video broadcast so after you do for it and we're gonna set all our customs to 1080p which is the best fit highest spf argb we're gonna go for record color range full all right and so we got it so after we have added our source for the nvidia broadcast so now that we have to adjust the filter so just repeat the same step come to your source filter right here right click it and just go for the edit filters and add the filters for color corrections add and just adjust the gamma i'm gonna put it a little bit right here so they can have a clear look all right so we're gonna put a little bit a little bit not too much a little bit bright and a little bit dark feeling on the side a little bit more oh this is way too much i'm gonna put a little bit more oh, this is really good here the brightness a little bit brighter not too much oh this is way too bright all right and saturation a little bit to the 70 plus this is too too brighty of the color all right now there we go there we go so now we got our very good 
color looking webcam quality after all the adjustment that we can have it right now and we got very good video quality right here so that is how we adjust or improve our webcam video quality but there's a small tip right now that is nvidia broadcast is currently kind of not stable right now so sometimes it works or sometimes it doesn't work but i use nvidia broadcast mainly just for the blur background so if you do not want that blur background that is okay for it because it kinds a little bit of on and off for the nvidia broadcast so if your nvidia broadcast isn't really working i can suggest that you restart your streamlabs and restart your nvidia broadcast but remember to open up your nvidia broadcast before open up your streamlabs and make sure that your nvidia broadcast camera is actually showing then only you turn on your streamlabs so now you got a really really good video quality from your webcam the next thing you want to do is how to set up the gameplay record for smoother gameplay or even a good video gameplay quality so i highly recommend that you check out my previous video on how to set up your recordings for your gameplay using streamlabs obs i'll see you next time and peace